Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kozlix, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play against Lance. This is going to be a new series on my channel where I'm going to teach you all how to play against certain weapons and what to do when in different case scenarios. Today we're going to be learning how to play against Lance because why not start with the weapon I use the most so people can beat me. Anyways, I'm going to switch this bot to Caspian. Lance has a lot of weaknesses. Not to Caspian, away from Caspian. Lance has a lot of weaknesses, and it's really important to know them. We'll just use Artemis. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show her boxes, show hit, show stun, show damage, damage reset on. We're gonna make the bot on hard, but we're gonna make sure he has a Lance. So, one key thing about playing against Lance is Lance is very bad approach options. The best options are the quickest attacks, which are really Nair and maybe dash jumps there, but it's still insanely risky. Almost no approach options. So honestly, I'm not saying I'll wait Lance out, but often Lance players will jump there and it's such an easy punish. It picks up a lot of hitboxes, but if you can avoid it, then it's really huge, right? So that's one way to avoid Lance. The moves are very heavy, very similar to Axe, but with more damage potential and less force. So, when playing against it, always be far enough away so they can't actually hit. But if they do use a move with a lot of momentum, especially horizontal momentum, because the thing about Lance is it's got a lot of horizontal momentum. Side light, there, there. If it uses any of those moves, then you want to be far enough away for him not to hit you. So that's definitely one way, especially if you're playing like a heavy hit weapon, kind of like Axe, or even Lance, if you're in a Lance at all, there's no point for me to aggress. Right? Like, I can go for the Sares, but if I'm just Saring and Saring and Saring, eventually even the bot's going to punish that. Right? So the best way is just be far enough away and you can punish with side airs things like that but you got to be far enough away and it's called proper spacing weapons that have shorter hitboxes you can be a lot closer to but weapons like lance where it's where it's super hard like where it's got like very a lot of range like if you actually think about it oh the bot killed me bot resets in health so it doesn't really matter but if you really think about it i'm gonna Make sure the bot is on Lance. I'm going to switch to a Lance. If you go back, you can see how much I've actually, like, how much momentum. I started here with my hitbox. And it ends all the way at this tree. This is a big range. And especially moves, like, down there. It doesn't have a lot of active range, but it's still got a lot of range. Just straight by itself. You start up here. And it goes, keeps going, keeps going, and then it goes all the way down here, which is still a lot, plus these weird last hitboxes. And especially if you do like a dash side light, like if you look where I was and how quick I actually traveled, I was all the way back here, and then I traveled. With that dash, my hitbox traveled all the way here, and that's just my st startup, right? So you've got a lot of horizontal range with the dash side light, and same with like the dash side air. So if I do like, like right there, dash jump there, it's a lot of range. If you compare where I actually started, I started here, right, like right here. And then look where I actually ended up, where my hurt box, box went. Like, that's more than half the map. That's around half the map. Let me just... Let me just... Stop bot. This bot's hitting me. Like, if you actually think about it, it's basically half the map. The only difference is you're using your hitboxes up here, and there's no stacked hitboxes. So one way is you could be far enough away, horizontally, where you can punish. Or another way, especially if you're using quick quick weapons like Katars and Sword, you're right beside Lance. The only way for me to hit you is with Downlight or Nairs if you're jumping. 
But things like GC downlights, Remy, if you watch games against me, Remy would use them a lot. He would aggress because the side light only hits, if you see a side light, no, side light bot, it only hits low. Let's see if I can get the bot to do a side light. Right, the ground and moves on Lance. The highest ground and move is actually end light. And if we go back, end light's highest point is actually right here, which isn't even close to the size of my hurt box, right? You've got so much extra room to do like a sword D light. And that, that hitbox right there is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six active frames. If you look at side light, my hurt box height does extend, but it's only for two frames. Other than that though, everything close is just half my hurt box. So if you get something that is a combo starter that picks up a bit below, same as like bow down sig on Koji, you dodge there so the down light didn't actually hit. If you grab something, that can go just over that height I messed up the GC then you can be building up a lot of damage right so those are like two main ways to go against Lance again if you can't input combos like as consistent as like a, a mid to high diamond player then I think your best bet would honestly be waiting it out and Waiting it out doesn't just mean running, it's putting pressure where they think that they can hit you. Like right there, the bot thought it could hit me, but it didn't. Like right there, he thought he can hit me, but he didn't. So it's just putting pressure and it's always keeping that pressure. I don't... It, it's basically parrying, but you're not running away. You're always trying to force them to attack. And when you're in that moment where you know you're going to hit them, like my Lance Sidelight right there. That was a punish. That was also a punish. But sometimes you'll like know where they are. So like I know he's there. I can do a dash jump there that I actually missed. Sometimes if you really know, then it's worth it. But especially for lower players, you'll struggle you'll struggle when trying to do these type of combos to aggress. Your best way to aggress is a lot of distance, like sword, side light, things like that, that are also quick at the same time. Those are your best aggressing weapons. You need something quick with a lot of range. And Lance doesn't really have that. Everything's very slow, which makes aggression very hard. And the best way is to either wait it out, which is the easiest solution, or pick a closer weapon that can counter it with a uh, more priority combo starters. Like, even if Lance is so good at priority, it literally can't hit a tiny bit above. So if you want to beat it, with combo starters and like GC downlight could be the way to go. Let me get in my ass. Right, and the bot literally can't hit me. The only thing the bot can do is like down side light or like Nair. Like right there, for example. If I go back. Oh, that was not back. Let me see if I can go back far enough. There we go. Right there, for exa example. The bot downlighted. The hitboxes came out. But if you're able to be right here, even with that height of a hitbox, you're able to land that downlight because it hits a bit below your hitbox, actually. And it's very easy to beat Lance that way. So when playing against it, yeah, always make sure that you're either far enough away or you're able to do that and for different Lance characters play it differently if you're playing against a Vrax that is very quick waiting him out might not actually work because Vrax is like low recovery frames if you're not able to punish as fast as a pro player then don't wait him out right I would say get above him and use combo servers like that a lot of good options would be like falling even like falling stairs like Falling stairs are risky, but if they use the attack, then punish that way. Right? And 
Countering different weapons is very similar with other weapons, but with Lance it can be a lot of weird and very frustrating. If I go equal to Lance on the ground, I would be side lighting with Lance right there, but like let's say he uses Scythe, I'm on the ground. Lance can be very hard, because it's got a lot of priority and I can aggress with like dash side light if I got the spacing. That was a perfect dodge. Even when it doesn't even look that way, Lance is the law range. So your best bet is really forcing him to miss is the easiest solution or getting in close. And if the Lance player isn't actually on the ground and he's in the air, completely wait him out because it's so easy. Right? Wait for him to land and then punish his landing. For example, the bot's gonna start jumping. That was a good dodge. Right, but every time the bot lands, I'm punishing him. And often when someone's trying to recover, you're going to use a lot of moves before you land. So like, let's say I'm off stage. One, two, dodge, recovery. And let's say I'm going up high. I can't do anything, so you can punish those landings. Right, so it's really with every weapon you punish landings. But the gist of Lance is if they're aerial, wait them out. If they're on the ground, get in close. It's harder to wait them out if they're playing a grounded lance, but it's easier to get in close with combo starters. With an aerial lance, it's easier to just wait out with combo starters. I hope you learned something from this video. If you don't understand, join the Discord and message in general or something. Discord link is down below. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, comment, and thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.